Hi you, it's me, Lauren. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna be telling you 50 things about me that you probably don't know. I mean, if you know all these 50 things, I'm a bit scared. Let's hit it, roll. What's up, my name is Lauren, oh hi. I hope you liked my intro. <laughs> I didn't know what to make for the intro, but there we go. So, number one, I am a loner. I've always been this way throughout school. I spend the majority of the time on my own, and I'm a loner now in <clears throat> adult life, whatever the hell that is. I'm always in the toilet crying. That's me. Hi, that's me too. Number two, um, I struggle with feeling real. This is a bit of a weird thing to say. You either get it or you don't get it, but I always in my life think, am I real? And are all these people not real or as no one real and I'm real? It's a weird thing that I have and it's, I've had it since I was younger where I kind of don't really feel like I'm here. Like I feel so distant from everyone else. I feel so distant and I don't feel real sometimes. Number three. Hmm, this one's nice. I have a crippling fear of death. Um, <laughs> it actually fuels me weirdly it actually fuels my career it fuels what i wake up and do that day because i wake up and it's like i'm gonna die one day oh my god and this is this, this horrible horrible anxiety that i get which helps me be more productive but also it's terrifying number four mm -hmm. i'm not very good at watching horror movies at all oh my god so i get in bed and i watch a horror movie and i'm like yeah i want to watch this horror film i can handle it whatever fine it's, i know it's not real Nah. I put it on and holy macaron, <laughs> holy shit, right? I can't even watch it. I, I've got it on the TV and it's just, I just, I've just got the pillow always like this, always looking through my fingers. And then at nighttime, I have to ask my boyfriend and say, can you take me to the toilet? Because I'm scared. Number five, I don't really get contouring. I do contour, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I do contour my face and I don't know what it does. Like, I can't tell you if it makes me look any better or not. And I also contour my nose and I have no idea what it's doing or if it looks better or worse, I don't know. Number six, I learned to drive at 21, I think. Actually, it could be 20, but I don't remember. I've lost all concept of time. And I have a fear of driving. Even though I can drive, I'm really scared of driving and I get like, I'll go months without driving at all. And then when I have to get in my car, I usually like get around it by saying like, oh, mom, do you want to drive my car today? Because I'm scared of it. I'm scared of my car. As much as I like to drive, I'm scared. Number seven, in the theme of being scared of things, I'm scared of long dogs. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know how I can explain how I'm scared of these things. But when I was younger, I remember I was on holiday with my family and there was this dog and its head was stuck out of the window and I was, I, I glanced, I looked at it real quick and in my glance, it looked like a person for a split second. Number eight, I'm actually really socially awkward. And the reason I'm socially awkward is, it's like, I don't know, I create this awkwardness for myself. I could just be so easily go with the flow kind of guy, but I'm not. I'm the kind of person that thinks, okay, right, I'm going out. And it's not just a case of what am I gonna wear, it's like, what am I gonna talk about when I get there? And then I'm already imagining to myself, like, where am I gonna sit? Well, what am I gonna talk about? And what about, <laughs> and I get all these things in my head and I'm like, yep, I'm not going. Number nine, I've attempted many religions and spiritualities. So when I was 15, I went on this soul search, but I felt so disconnected from everyone else at school. I felt so disconnected from everyone else ever. I didn't even like anybody, whatever. And I thought to feel part of something in this world, I wanna feel either really religious or I wanna feel really spiritual. I want something, I want a cult, anything, sign me up. I looked into Satanism, I looked into Buddhism, I looked into everything. You know, I, I kinda took all the idea of religion, it just scares me a little bit. Um, and I created my own thing that made me feel comfortable, which I'll talk about in a different video. <laughs> Number 10, during high school, my cat was my best friend. Now, I did have friends at school, I really did, but my cat, who has died now, Mauser, <laughs> he was truly my best friend for so long, like, he was just, I, I remember this one time I thought to myself, I have no friends, I have nobody, like, no one cares about me, and this whole time my cat's looking at me on my bed like, who the hell am I? <laughs> Number 11, during my teen years, when I turned 18, I had a little bit of a 
a little bit of a breakdown, like not not a mental breakdown, but just like a realization that holy macaron, I don't want to grow up. Like I, I just don't want to grow up. Like Jesus. So I went up into the loft and I got out my brat dolls <laughs> and I got my brat dolls down from the loft and I sat and I played a game of brats at 18. I cried my eyes out because it wasn't the same. It wasn't as fun as it used to be. But I just I forever just want to relive my youth because it was fabulous and. Being an adult is sucker, sucker, knuckle do. Number 12. I don't know if you know or not, but I am vegan. <laughs> I am vegan. I have been vegan for six to seven years now. A long time. I was vegetarian before then. Number 13. I used to be really sporty in primary school. I actually won either first place or second place on every single sports day. I used to be so good at running and I used to be sporty. And you know what now? I don't exercise at all. I very rarely get off my ass. Number 14. In my early music career, I once got banned from an award ceremony in my hometown. Basically, I got absolutely wankered, right? Twat-faced. I got twat-faced because I was nervous, because I do get nervous and stuff like that. And I laughed throughout the whole thing. I've also horrendous laughing like i i laugh in the worst times like when you just, just don't laugh you're not allowed to laugh <laughs> that's when i want to laugh that happened in the award ceremony i started laughing everyone was tutting i got up i won something i got on stage i came to say my speech laughing and then i said oh my god i am so sorry i have to just say i am wankered and i have completely forgotten what award i won i was not invited back and I did get a formal complaint via email to say I'll never be able to play that festival again that the, the thing was related to. Go me. I have 36 teddy bears on my bed. Yep. 36 teddy bears that I have to take off my bed, put on my bed, take off my bed, take put on my bed, okay, every single day. That must be, like, partly why I feel so... <laughs> Number 16, I feel like you might relate. I have lied in my life about having pets. I did lie about having pets before I had pets. I said I had all these different pets and I remember this boy came to my house and he was like, where's your dog? And I was like, oh, my dog. <laughs> my dog's in my nanans, actually. My dog's out. Liar, 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 pants on fire. I did not have a dog. <laughs> Number 17. I used to hate my boobs, like, just because they're small. Because they're small and everyone else's boobs seem to be massive right? Not everyone's, but a lot of boobies you see a giant. And I love boobs. I used to stuff my brow with socks for when I was at school. Terrible idea. I have so many embarrassing tales about my boobs. Number 18. This will make my boyfriend sick. I put mayonnaise on everything. Everything has mayonnaise on it. I do, my cousin used to do this, Fiona, and I copied that and I do the same and I put mayonnaise on everything. Number 19. I dreaded my hair when I was 15. I didn't really think much about it. I just kind of wanted to have dreadlocks because I thought they were, you know, cute. I like them and stuff. Since that very day, I've regretted this decision. Um, I like my hair. I do like my dreads. They do cause me issues. Um, for example, they're really quite uncomfortable to sleep in. You can't change your hairstyle. And if I was to brush these out, my hair would be like shit. It would. I would have to shave my head. Like there ain't no brushing. This is years. This is this is years of work. Number 20. I always and forever wished that I had seen the 90s. Because I was born in 97, so I was a baby, so I didn't really look around much. <laughs> like it. Um, but yeah, a lot of my favorite bands are from the 90s, and all of my favorite music is around the 90s and 2000 era, so I missed it all. And I just try and relive it, and everyone's just like, you know, this has been done before. I'm like, well, but... <laughs> I wasn't there. Number 21. This is, a, this is a stupid one that I had when I was younger, but I used to have this anxiety that because I couldn't hit certain notes, like my range was rather, my range is quite deep. It's a lot deeper than it is high. And I used to think that if I couldn't hit high notes in songs that I would never ever make it as a singer when I was younger. I mean, I was right. <laughs> no, just kidding. Number 22. I had a pet fly. That's right, a pet fly. I called it Martha. I actually wrote a book about it, but just for myself. I went vegetarian and my mum and dad were arguing because they were like saying, you can't force us to be vegetarian just because you're vegetarian. But then what, the thing is, when you go vegetarian, you're just like, why does no one else see what I see? It's crazy. It's just like, why? what? How can I be the only one? Why is no one else like me? 
I learned then, you know, it's, it's more of a journey to get to that point. But when you realize it, you're just like, listen to me, mum, please stop eating animals. And that's how I felt. I went outside and then there was this little fly on the floor and I was looking at the fly and I put it on my finger and I was just, look, I was talking to me and going, you know what? This, this world is just freaking awful. It is, it's awful. And no one sees the beauty in the small things. And little fly, I see you. And I was staring into its eyes like, I see you. Everyone else looking at me through the window. My mom and dad staring at me through the window right now. They don't get it. We do. <laughs> Number 23. It's always been a dream of mine to go to California. I've always fantasized America. I feel like people from England do that. They just fantasize America. Maybe right now, now during the coronavirus pandemic, we might not go. I always fantasize what it would be like to go to California one day. I will do it and I'll tell you what it's like when I go. Number 24, hmm. the happiest place in the world for me is my room. I know that sounds sad, but I have real bad problems when it comes to being homesick. I get homesick instantly. It's like my little safe zone, my little bubble that keeps me safe. It's uh, packaged in, in my little, my little bed. My room is me. <laughs> you can you can go stand outside my house and watch me through my bedroom window if you want to see myself in my natural habitat. Number 25, hmm. I get really upset and awfully offended when strangers don't smile back. Like, I, I know there's a reason why they don't smile back. They're probably busy. But I really, like, enjoy smiling at people or saying hi as a walk past. And I find that a lot of people don't. Like, they don't say hi. They don't say hello or they don't smile. But I enjoy smiling at people. And I'm always just like, why don't you smile back? Number 26, I hate, hate being starstruck oh my god i hate that feeling it's gross it's so disgusting so when i met babes in thailand who is one of my favorite bands i met them my mum was like go and speak to them and i'm like okay fine and i had my cd in my hand which made it so much worse i felt so annoying and i was shaking like oh my god ew i hate myself i have literally never felt like this before and all of a sudden you forget how to be a person and you crumble. It's horrible. Ugh. Number 27. This could possibly be the most annoying part of my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's bad though. Epically. My cat is deaf. She screams. She screams around the house. Like she can't hear anyone coming up behind her. She's scared if you walk behind her and she realizes you're there, she'll <laughs> all night long. And I love her, but oh my God. Number 28. In my natural habitat that you will find me in my bedroom, you will see that I am the majority of the time in my dressing gown. I live in my dressing gown. Do you live in your dressing gown? Because I live in mine. My socks have got to be so thick. I'm talking fluffy socks, not little skimpy little crappy little ankle twats. We're talking fluffy, massive, heat me up from the innards socks. <laughs> That's what I wear. Number 29, my favorite color used to be green, but now it's pink. It was quite a journey from green to pink, I'll be honest. When I was green, it was mostly about the fact that I love the forest, I love nature, I love it, it tied in with everything. I changed to pink because I felt like it was a hyper feminine color. Like pink is so, oh, the boys are just like, oh my God, I can't wear pink. You know, pink is just the girliest color in the world. It doesn't have to be. I think boys look great in pink, but I just really enjoyed it. It's my youth. It's my childhood. Pink is my childhood. Like everything I had when I was little was pink. And I, older I get, the younger I want to be. So here we go. I will be a baby by next week. Number 30. I used to have braces. So these thing, these teeth here. They used to be double, so I used to have two on top of each other, and people at school used to pick on me, and then I got braces. I one time had seven teeth taken out of my mouth. I don't know how many teeth I had in my mouth, but I had seven taken out, and look at them now. Number 31, I used to be absolutely addicted to Sims 3 and Sims 2. Oh, that was for my... That's where my youth went. I could have done so much. I could have been president. I could have, well, maybe not because I'm English, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Number 32. When I was a child, when I was like a toddler, I used to have really bad night terrors, like super bad where my cousin Gemma used to babysit me and I used to freak the hell out, like true life horror film. That was me. I was a horror film when I was little. I used to go to sleep and then in the middle of the night, I used to start to choke myself. So I'd be like going, <laughs> And I used to make this noise, right? Okay, 
and saying I couldn't breathe and then I would say someone's choking me I used to pull hair out my throat I'd I'd just be a little freak like absolute demon child so I used to have really bad night terrors and now have really bad sleep paralysis which makes me paralyzed in my bed and makes my fingers vibrate um which is terrifying number 33 I never watch my own videos back I do edit my own videos. I watch them again and again and again and again and again. And then once they come out, I never ever watch them again. Number 34, my favorite food right now is crumpets. Oof, but they have gotta be burnt. I don't know if you have crumpets. What do you even call them like where you live? Crumpets. Number 35, Sean wanted me to mention this, but he says, Lauren, you gotta tell him about your drunk strength. So when I'm drunk, I'm super strong. I don't know how it happens, but I'm super strong. It seems that, you know, I can't feel pain. I'm a little bit like the Hulk. Um, but anything I do, like say if I give you a high five, it's gonna hurt. Or if I, I don't know, squeeze some, I don't know, do something. Everything is, everything breaks and smashes and I'm really, really bad. If I'm drunk, don't, don't come near me because I am super strong. I think it's superpowers. I don't know, but just bear that in mind. Number 36, this is my favorite one of the whole list. One time, a fortune teller told my mum that her daughter was gonna be a famous singer. That's me, but I'm not famous yet. But I will be, so she will be right, one day. <laughs> so my mum was in Blackpool with her friend Tracy and they were walking down the beach when a woman tapped my mum on the shoulder and said, that girl on the beach there, it was me playing. You know, I was very young, I was a toddler maybe. And she says, well, my mum said she can't remember the exact words, but this is what it, you know. She says, the girl over there, she's going to be a famous singer one day. I'm not saying it's coming true, but a bit weird, right? I was a kid. I was a toddler. How would you know? 37. Hmm. If you was to go to the bar and get me a drink, what would you get me? Because if the answer is not vodka and coke... I'll drink it anyway. <laughs> Number 38. I used to be a super duper chav at school. One time I got a gold digger um, body warmer, gold. I would wear that now. But it was embarrassing when I got it because my mum was, my mum took it too far. She's like, oh, Lauren likes all this blingy stuff. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Number 39. My favorite TV show of all time so far is Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I love that show. Number 40. Something interesting about me that I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at reading. And if I'm on holiday with a book, I love reading books. It feels great to read a book and really get into a book. It takes me forever because I get a book and I'm just like, everyone, I'm reading a book. Okay. No one speak, no one breathe, or I can't finish this sentence. And then I, my dad starts talking to me and it's just like, yeah, I want, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just reading a book, Dad, just one one minute, and he's, then he's there like, all oh, right. So, and then you just like, this is me closing the book, like, never mind. Number 41, this is quite sad, but I always thought by now I'd be famous. I knew as a kid I was gonna be famous. I just knew, and I didn't want to say it out loud because you don't want to be too much, you don't want kids to not like you and whatever. But as I got older, it's just like saying, right, come on, you know, I have I have worked so hard over the years, like massively and real grinding every day. Like I don't have a social life because I put it all into my music. Everything goes into my music. And when I was younger, I thought it'd be a lot easier than it has been. And I really thought by now I'd be singing in the stadiums. I really did. I thought 23, Yep, I'm gonna be there. It's taken a bit longer, my dear Lauren of the past, but we are will get there, so don't give up. Number 42. I've actually written an entire children's book that I then scrapped and throwed in throwed thrown through in the bin. The reason I threw it in the bin was because my boyfriend read it through and made all these he says that doesn't technically make sense or you should change the sentence and he proofed it wrecked it wrecked this book utterly ruined it and i said yes maybe my sentences didn't make that much sense or maybe they weren't right or maybe they could have been better but i liked it like that and i was just like no number 43 you might notice this when i'm doing videos maybe not let me know if you you do this too because maybe you do this too maybe it's not just me i prefer the left side of my face i always have I don't really use. I don't know why. I don't use it. I abuse it. 
And I think it's because of my ear. And I used to, at school, people used to say things about my ear and say that my ear was upside down. I do prioritize this side of my face with them on a photograph taken. I'm like, <laughs> if someone gets me from this side, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Number 44. The only drugs I've ever tried in my life have been alcohol or weed. I've never tried anything else. I've been offered these things, but I'm honestly very scared of drugs. Like, I'm scared of what they do to me, and I'm scared of how uh, I could become dependent on something. Like, I, I just really don't want to take that risk. I always feel weird. Like, I go out, and, like, everyone seems to be doing drugs except me. And I'm, like, really just quite fun anyway. Like, I think so. Maybe you don't agree. Number 45. I really struggle with interviews. Super bad. I always have. I hate them. I freaking hate them. I pick up my phone and I know I'm going to have an interview and I know someone's going to call me and want an interview on the radio, live on the radio, for example. Ew. And this is me, what I think I'll be like. I think, ooh, I'm going to answer the phone and I'm going to be like, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reality. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> so unnatural. So unnatural, so disgusting. I hate interviews. Number 46. I was almost expelled from school. People would say, how can you have a detention every day? Easily. You have five classes a day. Every one of those classes could be a detention. Most of the time it were. Most of the time I'd be getting a detention per class. I would ask hard questions and say, what's the point? What's the point? I was very much... um a little shit. I still agree with what I was saying though. I still agree with what she was saying. I'm still on Team Lauren. <laughs> they were wrong about you. I used to talk to a keyring on my bag. So when I was at school, I used to have a little keyring that was attached to my bag and I used to go and sit in the toilets to eat my dinner. And when I used to eat my dinner in the toilets, I got banned from going out of school because of my behavior. So I wasn't allowed to leave school because they knew that I'd leave school and not come back because I ran away from school. More and more every day uh, coming into my final years. So I used to talk to a keyring on my bag and I used to look at this little like teddy bear thing and just be talking to it and just making it my friend. I still have it in a little box. I keep it forever. Number 48. I want to do a video on this because I feel like, you know, this needs a bit more explanation. But a lot of people think I'm straight when I'm bi. I've never come out. I've never really told anyone. I've just slipped it in there, you know, if I needed to. Like, oh yeah, I kind of like girls, you know but the fact that I've only ever dated men, they assume that that's because I'm straight, but I'm not. Number 49. I am absolutely terrified of aging. Not in a way of kind of like getting older, like in a, in a beauty way, like, oh, I'm gonna get some wrinkles here and there. That's not what I mean. I'm terrified of like everyone around me getting old. I remember my nanan saying to me like, when you get older, it's just so much harder. Like you just can't do what you used to be able to do. What, what does it feel like? Ugh, makes me feel sick. It just makes me so scared. Number 50, the final fact about me. Here we go. The final fact about me is majority of the time after I've played a gig, I cry in the toilets. I cry in the toilets, I cry in the back room, I go somewhere and I cry because I can't truly believe it. And I feel overwhelmed a lot of the time and I and I played a gig. Afterwards I went into the toilets, I burst into tears and I was just in, in the cubicle with the door shut. And these girls came in and they were talking about me and they're going like, oh my God, Hands of Gretel, that's so good. I love Lauren. And I was just like, oh God, why did I do this? Why am I in the toilets? Oh no. That's an interesting fact. If I ever go missing, you don't know where I am. I'm in the toilets talking to a key ring on my bag. So there you go. 50 things about me that you probably did not know. Maybe you did. Jesus Christ, if you made it this far, hell to the freaking yeah, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be making lots more videos. And yeah, my main aim of my channel will always and forever be just being there for someone who, like you right now watching this. If you're watching this and you're just, you just need someone to just reassure you that, you know, what you're going through is fine. We're all human here, blah, 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 blah. That's me. Sign up to the channel. Let's stay in touch. Leave me a comment. I'll reply to everybody. Yeah, so sending you big, big love. And uh, thanks for watching. Mwah, here's tomorrow.